Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Lukapo. And in this Blender tutorial, I'll be showing you guys a way on using scripting in Blender to create very um, complex modeling with no time to waste or very um, time saving um, modeling process using scripting. Um, so, what you are seeing are uh, two basic, basic models um, with holes in your middle. So um, normally you think how will you create this whole blender? Um, you will have to go in and find a way on maybe use the boolean uh, operator, which may create very rough looking um, mesh sometimes. Um, so with these scripts, um, which I'm going to show you how to do today, if I run the script, it creates very nice looking um, circle in each of these um, holes. Just select um, face, and we select the face. It does the same stuff. So that's the same way I used to um, recreate this too. So let's start up with the um, tutorial for today. So this is our Blender 3D scene. Um, before I continue, I would like to make some things clear. Um, for the beginners or those that have no or little idea on scripting in Blender. Um, you should don't be scared or um, go to the next video or try to go out of this video because um, this tutorial is very um, lit, um, begin, um, be, beginner, beginners friendly. I'm getting that right. Um, so I'll be showing you guys just a brief information or, or the basic information we need in this tutorial to carry us throughout the activity we have today. Um, so in Blender, when you create any um, object before that object is created there are some activity in the background um those activity is a script is being created for that object to be able to uh, take place in the scene um so for an example if i add a plane it creates a script so the script is byte um bpy which stands for blender python of stands for operation dot mesh primitive plane add. So this is the um, activity that took place in the background to create this plane. So um, this text con contains information. So if you look at um, just for example the layers, you see true, false, false, false. Um, in programming language, when you see something like this, true means yes and false means no. So the location is zero zero zero, telling you that the plane is. That means since we know in Blender, if you create any object, it's at the 3D axis, which the 3D axis was at zero zero zero, and the object was created at zero zero zero. Um, let me just. Uh, okay, I will not show you the example yet. So that's just basically what happens in Blender during the um, background time. Sorry. Um, okay, so with this um, quick uh, little information, so you can see what you can achieve in Blender in a situation whereby you can grab that script before it's been executed in the 3D view and modify it. So with modifying it, you'll make it act according to how you want it or perform taxes, um, different tasks that was not meant to perform by default. Okay. So let's create a quick example, example to explain more on the scripting part. Um, Blender comes with various scene layout, which include the 3D view, animation, compositing, and stuff. But what we'll be needing is a scripting layout. Um, by default, the scripting layout doesn't look like this, but I've modified it to fit my own preference. Um, excuse me for a minute. Okay, um, so I will just leave out some of this layout. What we have here, first of all, is the text editor. Um, this is used to um, create scripts. Um, you can open scripts, various scripts. You can load scripts um, that came in between Blender. And what we also have here is the info tab. It's same as the one we saw earlier at the top of um, the Blender 3D view. 
So this is what we'll be needing to just work for today. Um, you can see stick to the default saying is okay for this tutorial. So, so um, as I told you earlier, every activity that happens in the 3D view is being noted down in this information tab. So we're going to take advantage of that. So to start scripting in Blender, you have to press new, this new tab, click on it. And what you have to do next is very important because without this, no script will work. Um, type import Blender Python, which short form is B P Y. So if you just after typing this before you can start your scripting, import B P Y, import Blender Python. Okay. So let's go on. So what we're trying to create out of this plane, if I scale it up. Is just basically a plane with four circles and maybe some little um, children around it. So, by default, if or the traditional method, or if you're given a tax to create something like that, um, you will first have to go into edit mode and add various loop cards and start to start it up, and it's okay. Okay. So let's just create a convenience, um, convenient plane for our the activity we'll be trying to create. Let's move this. So this plane is looking okay. So to create a circle by default in Blender, you will select four faces maybe, and press Insert, and select the other faces and press W to circle. Loop. And you can extrude it and delete the face. And that's how you create a face, or, or one of the ways to create face, um, faces in Blender. Or you can use the Boolean operator, which sometimes um, Boolean modifier, which sometimes um, has some strength, um, some or the mesh is most times not clean. Okay, so let's just stick to this method. So you see we have created a circle. So what about we can create just one circle and co copy the information of this one circle to each and every face we select. Wouldn't that be awesome? Uh, so let's do that. So I'll undo this and let's redo it. So before I go on, I want to just um, present one important um, case which you may run in in your scripting career or if you are starting beginning if you select these four faces and let's say how we did it before we insert the face and select the opposite four faces inside and press circle loop okay so let's say we want to make another face be able to have this information now that would deselect this and select all. So to select all, you press A and copy. If I paste this here and select another four face and run script, what happens? We get this very uh, awkward looking circle which doesn't look any way like this. And the reason is because we select, we needed to create this circle. We needed to have a constant face selected to be able to create this. For us to be able to scale it, um, I don't know. I'm getting making clear. Or oh, let me just explain it. I first selected these four cubes and inserted it. I needed to also go and select this other one to circle it. Um, but if for the scripting, it's going to be a problem because since this is just a busy scripting, we cannot tell it to be able to after selecting the first phase insert. And jump to select these four faces. So with programming, the main key to be a very good programmer is creating logics or finding various or finding a gateway through um, any kind of problem. So in this kind of situation, the one option that will be, um, will be very effective for us. Um, I think my undo is over. Take that. Okay. Okay. 
So to fix that or to do it the right way, select these four faces and extrude it. Okay, after you extrude it, scale it a bit. So you notice we are still retaining a face. Now circle it. So I've created the circle. Then let's extrude it a bit inside and extrude it downwards. And maybe final touch we delete the face. So we have created it perfectly. Um, so you, as you notice, I toggled in, into an uh, um, I toggled out of the edit mode and in I Blender uh, noted that. So I'm going to delete it, but I don't want it. So this is just basic script for us to be able to create this circle. So I'll delete this one now and select all and copy. I'll paste it into the text editor. So now I can go and select four different faces and run script. And you just create the same face that we created before. And run script. So very easily I've created the circles. So you can select multiple face and say create the script. So that's it. That's just basically um, how to automate your uh, modeling tasks. And since the mesh is clean, um, adding self, um, self modifier won't be a problem to you. You can see, I've created a very nice looking mesh. It's good topology. Let me show this down. Here yeah, is it. So I think with this I've explained it well. So I'm going to classify this tutorial as part one because I hope to um, create a second part explaining stuff like this to you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I just want to ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel or or like and like my videos if you think it's good enough to, for you to like. Ah, okay, that's it, guys. Bye bye. See you in the next tutorial adventure. Bye-bye.